Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels. I'm a Jewish wife and mother living in Israel. I'm so happy you're here today. Today we're going to talk about happiness. Jewish secrets to happiness. We all want to be happy. Loads of books have been written on this topic. People have discussed what happiness is. Professor Talvin Shachar defines happiness in the following way. Happiness is the overall experience of pleasure and meaning. So I've read a lot of self-help books about happiness and how to be happy. And I thought, what does my religion have to say about happiness? Many of the ideas that were quote unquote discovered by modern psychologists had actually been there for thousands of years present in traditional Jewish sources. In Judaism, is simcha, is being happy, an actual mitzvah, a commandment? Rambam does not list happiness as one of the mitzvot. According to Maimonides, happiness is an essential element while performing the commandments and the mitzvot. We're supposed to do the mitzvot, do the commandments with happiness. We know that when we're, we're sad or not happy, like we're not ourselves, we're not we're not giving the world all that we can. So here are five Jewish secrets to happiness. The first one is gratitude. Every morning we wake up in the morning and the first thing we say in our bed is Mode ani lefanecha, melech vekayam. We thank you, our God, shechazarta bi nishmati bechemla raba emunatecha, that you gave my soul back your faith in me is great. You're enabling me another day in this world where you believe in me to do what I'm supposed to in this world. And that's a huge thing. We're thanking God throughout the day, all the bracha, all the blessing that a Jew says during the day. Thank you. Thanking God for going to the bathroom. We're thanking God for opening our eyes. Are these things that we're supposed to be so grateful for? Yeah, we're supposed to be grateful for these things. And the more we bring our attention to these things, the happier we become. Research talks about how gratitude is one of the most important things for happiness. The second thing is Chagim, the holidays. In our Torah it says, Vesamachta bechagecha. You should be happy on your holidays. Religion provides people with a community, a sense of purpose, family, and a lot of things that the secular world today are lacking. And they talk about how they wish that as an atheist or as a secular, they could still have these um, important part aspects to life. One of the people talking about it, Alan Debaton, talks about this, how holidays are so important. The other thing that religions do is to arrange time. All the major religions give us calendars. What is a calendar? A calendar is a way of making sure that across the year you will bump into certain very important ideas. In the For me, holidays means time with my family, time to think about the values that the holiday brings, learn more about the holiday, what it meant to my people. And it's like a spiral. Every year we get to the same place of the year, we get to the same time of the year, but every year I'm one year older and I learn about it in depth. You know, it's the same holiday when I was in kindergarten and today, but I changed and I'm learning more. On holidays, we're supposed to also let our body be happy, eating well, drinking well, uh, eating meat and things that bring happiness and joy to us. Third thing is Lushin Hara, speaking badly. We have a lot of laws about how we're supposed to talk. We're not supposed to say bad things about other people. We're not supposed to uh, gossip about other people. And we know today more than ever that words really matter. Words that you use about other people, words that you say to yourself. God, according to Jewish tradition, created the world with his words. Vayahi or, vayahi or. God said, let there be light. So words have a tremendous impact. When I talk to friends, I'll mention, you know, this kid of mine or that kid of mine is being difficult. And I, I notice the impact of the words that I use on myself and how I view that kid. And it's really important that we watch what we say because words really do matter. The fourth thing is we give to others. We have a lot of laws that talk about 
you know, chesed and kindness to other people. We're supposed to visit the sick and give the poor people and give, give, give. And living part in part of a community. A lot of research talks about how giving to others is a key ingredient to happiness. The more you give, the happier you are. And I recently gave birth to my third daughter. And one of the days after the birth, I was feeling hungry. And all of a sudden, someone from my community came and he just delivered this beautiful platter with chicken and potatoes. And I was so hungry, I, I almost cried. Being part of a community and giving is a very important part of being happy. The last thing is, of course, the Shabbat the sabbath this is something that judaism uh, the bible brought to the world and at first it was seen as kind of a weird concept the greeks they thought we were lazy and today most of the world has a day of rest god created the world in six days and rested on the seventh so to us six days we work we create and on the seventh day, we rest. And this for an Orthodox Jew means also not using any electronics, not driving. And this is such an important part of our life. It enables us to really be with our family, spend the time on spirituality and real rest from creating. Greek and Roman writers who wrote about Judaism were scathing about one institution above all, the Sabbath. They couldn't work out the Sabbath. What is the Sabbath? Jews are lazy. That's what they said. That's it. They couldn't believe. Go to Jerusalem on a Sabbath morning. Breathe the quiet. Understand that on the Sabbath, where there's no working, no shopping, no driving, we're all enjoying God's world. Okay, so another bonus point that I forgot to mention is happiness with your spouse. Marriage in Judaism is very, very crucial. Adam was created. God says, Lotov. It's Lotov Hiyot Adam Levado. It's not good that man is alone. He needs someone to be there at his side and work together as a team. And this is really important. Our sages also teach us that he who is without a wife is without good, without happiness, and that's why it's very important for happiness to have a partner, a family, and this is very important stuff in Judaism. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.